Hey, today we're going to take a look at the Ryobi 18 volt cordless P601 compact fixed base trim router. And uh, take a look and use uh, basic uses. These basic uses will work for most trim routers. The uh, actual switches might be in a different spot. Uh, there is a new model of this out called the PCL424B. It's about 20% more compact. It's got a rounded base on one side and the power switch is on the other side. On this particular model, power switch is on the side here. Your adjustment is on this side. This is your lock to unlock so you can set your depth. And then there's the uh, collet lock here to put your uh, collet lock to actually lock the collet so you can put your bit in. I've got this one preset for a test, so we're going to go ahead and put this in. comes with its own wrench. Uh, however, I've had this for years, and I've conveniently put the original wrench away to where I wouldn't lose it and uh, haven't been able to find it. So we're going to lock this on, tighten that bad boy all the way up. There are a bunch of different... Uh, bits that you can get for your uh, trim routers. I use this. Basically, I use the trim router more than I use any other uh, router. A lot of your bits, I bought an actual set. Um, I like this one because I haven't used all these bits till recently, but they actually have a picture of the bit and the kind of finish that you will get with that bit. So I recommend that you get yourself a set. You can buy the Ryobi set from um, Home Depot or HomeDepot.com, or uh, I bought that particular set off of Amazon. A lot of the bits are self-guiding. On the bottom here, they have a little bearing, so that can go up against the board. Sometimes people have problems holding this straight. I'm one of them. In fact, I came up with uh, one of the ideas that I use for my students, because I have a few students that... Uh, have issues with actually keeping it straight. So we're going to actually use actually going to use a piece of scrap wood here that I've uh, clamped down to the table to get close so we can get through it. Uh, turn our power on. There's the kind of edge that uh, you get with that particular bit. Now we'll try a different bit. A rounded bit to show you some different ones. And my recommendation is if you're new to using a trim router or any router, is that you actually test it out and play with the bits with some scrap wood first to see if you get what you like. So let's see what this does. This will give you a nice rounded edge on your board. So as you can see, you can get different, uh, different styles. So I use the uh, Ryobi P601 quite a bit for a lot of different projects. One of the things that I do, and I'm going to actually show in a future ep episode, is I actually make picture frames. And using the edging I put in with the uh, actual trim router to make uh, frames for pictures. Also, the more you work with it and play around and work with scrap wood, the better you'll get. So when you work, get to your final projects, you'll be ready to go. This is what that bit looks like. What I've done is I've measured in the base to actually where I want to actually have my groove. I've actually taken a piece of straight plywood, put that on and clamped it all to the workbench. Board laid out. All ready to go. We're going to give this a try. Get our depth. Take our board out. And there's your straight groove. So you can actually use this instead of a router table. It just takes a little bit more setting up if you want to do multiple layers. 
And then you can have your piece that sits inside like that. And so now you've turned your trim router in to a joiner. So always remember, dream, think, design, build, and learn. I'll see you in the shop.